so hello 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 as the title reads i got my seat on and i got three packages from three different companies i have one more get down oh man my chicken's all up on there Hold on. okay back to the show so my first comes from Southern Seed Exchange. And here's more information about this company. Um, on the date of this video, which is December the... I mean, ja oh, yeah. January 8th. Yeah, January 8th, 2023. I've seen a little bit of this information before I, um, after I had made the purchase. And I was like, oh wow, this is cool. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got. There's only gonna be one more um, seed haul I'll do for a few years. I, I'm i pretty good. It's gonna be, have to be some other kind of way. I can't spend no, any more money. Seed diversity, I, I got it pretty down pat. So. And I'm doing this because I'm putting away all my other seeds. And if y'all look at some of my other videos, uh, a couple of my lives, I was actually doing the, um, I dropped some seeds. So, okay, let me see what they, this is a little, bam. Yeah, that's pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, so this is what I received. Ashwagandha and Go. I'm telling you y'all my chickens are, they tripping today here's my next seed seed from them hopefully I was able to tell you a little bit more information about the seeds actually these are herbs well not all of them so. all right so that is my first sea haul okay let's get to number two here's my second sea haul Y'all can already tell this. This is all blurry. This is where I, I put my wealth at. <laughs> yeah, just set up me some. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Today was a very fine day. Oh, okay, this right here is from Seed Geeks. Yes, from Seed Geeks. Let me show y'all what I received today. This is a kale microgreens mix. A delicious blend of premium and red Russian kale creates the perfect sprouting and microgreen mix. Dark green leaves with vigorous stems of pink, purple, and red um, packed with nutrition and cons um, consistent mild nutty flavor. They like the children. <laughs> they do what they want to do. <laughs> they explore and everything. They messing with the thing over there. Okay, this right here is the Krishan Melon. 110 days. Krishan is a large musk melon with a very sweet flavor. Produces fruit weighing about six to eight pounds each with a yellowish green skin and mouth watering salmon colored flesh. Mm. Vigorous vines produce good yields. Heat loving variety. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I hope I had the. Yeah, I hope I had the. Okay, I got 
two of these. This is the Malabar Red Stem Spinach, 75 days. While not a true spinach, this beautiful red stem vining plant produces large, deep green leaves that have a remarkable spinach-like flavor, often planted in the summer as an alternative to cool season spinach. This variety flourishes in the heat, equally good cooked or fresh. Yes, partial to full sun. it looked like I did these already. No, that's right. I read over. Okay. I was reading back over the, about it. <laughs> this one right here. Come on, camera. There we go. Yes, yeah, so a jewel tomato, 80 days, indeterminate, produces beautiful one to two pound bicolor beef steak tomatoes with yellow and red streaks and brilliant red marbling inside the flesh. Wonderful wonderfully rich sweet fruity flavors with a well-balanced acidic finish yeah okay all right so here is a squash randy nice i can't pronounce that but y'all see it it's a 50 day a wonderful fridge heirloom this round green zucchini is very tender with a nutty flavor Grows up to 24 inches tall and 18 inches wide. Vigorous and quick to produce. Freezes well. What else must I say? What else must I say? Now this one right here I have actually growing. Um, it's in the beginning stages. I just, it's barely a seedling. But this is, I, I just think that it's, it's a beautiful, it, it looked different in where I got it before, but yeah. Um, all right, let's get back to it. It's a 70 days indeterminate, produces one inch round bicolor tomatoes that range in color from rose to red and have a yellow orange marbling. Delicious flavor that's rich, fruity, and sweet. Isis candy. Yeah. The painted serpent cucumber. Yeah, this one right here is the 65 days, also known as American Striped Cucumber. This variety has a crisp, tender flavor without any bitterness. These slender fruits can closely, yeah, they distracted me a little bit. <laughs> closely related to melons and grow into a curved S shape when untrellised best harvested at 7 to 16 inches long this one right here is a basil it's the red leaf holy this one right here it's an annual an essential herb in India and Thai kitchens due to its unique flavor pointed purple tinged leaves have a bush growing habit and a spicy clove like musky musty flavor and aroma prized for its physical medical and spiritual benefits as an at, at the at the pathogen herb big word alert it broke would say <laughs> perfect for containers <laughs> And that's Broke Farmer. That's what I'm referring to. Wait a minute. Broke Farmer, who's who I was talking about. It didn't even, um, come on now, don't start that. There we go. This is a thyme. This is the German winter thyme. This is a perennial. A key ingredient of many herbal re remedies for its antibacterial properties and an essential culinary herb for seasoning a wide variety of dishes. One of the most versatile herbs to have in your kitchen garden for seasoning meats and vegetables. Round to needle pointed, dark green leaves on woody steams used fresh or dry. Okay, so that concludes my second one. And that one was from Sea Geeks. 
here's more information about this company right here all right so let's go to my next one this one right here y'all <laughs> this is from in my garden yeah this is like the gardener's paradise oh snap what they doing now Oh, so I get 10% off my next order. Okay, okay. So let me get these together real quick. Oh, it look like they done, they done update their printer. Here is a tomato. There we go. This is Land Race Current Tomato. I can't read it that far away. Indeterminate small bite sized tomatoes grow like grapes on large clusters. Super sweet and low on seeds. These tomatoes are perfect to get kids into growing a garden. Popular with gourmet chefs and home gardeners alike. Plants are indeterminate, fast growing, and ideal for locations with a short growing season. You see? That's, that's one of the biggest reasons why I got it. And as you see that person's hand, you see how small they are. So these can be used in many different ways. So I'm looking forward to that. My chickens are sitting up there, they're just messing with stuff. Oh my goodness. But this, this matures in 55 to 65 days. Um, plants will produce dozens of tomatoes per cluster. So this is this, that's the main reason why I got it. I got this one because it's so cool. And um, pumpkin seeds are pump. I mean squash and pumpkins are good for the body. So I've been told. So um, let me tell you a little bit more about this. This is called the black futsu. I don't know squash. <laughs> it's a winter vine. Black futsu is a an essential. No, that's not essential. Aesthetically, aesthetically. Ooh, there's one. <laughs> aesthetically unique Japanese variety that is flavorful for also but also can be a statement piece in your fall decor skin is tight edible and matures about a for from a grayish blue color to a warm orange the flesh is bright orange and delicious in any dish stores for four to five months now you see there's a there's a reason for the madness. I can four to five months. Whew. How many days is it to maturity? 110 days. That means I need to start it pretty soon. Um, I, today is Sunday. I was just on Miss Linda's channel, the New Orleans Gardener, and um, she said something about this, and she was talking about Dan Pomaculture Food Forest. He also grew these about two years ago i just found out about this about a year ago from black straw but um yes i was on her live and she was talking about this and i've got i've come to know these seeds a little bit better because i've i've been wanting these seeds for a good little minute because when i taste it i was like oh my goodness this is a root vegetable and it doesn't have the starch so i was like yeah i gotta i gotta snatch this up so that's why I did this. Now this is a 95 to a 30, 130 day to maturity. Um, the fruit size is four to five pounds. I, I did some research on it and it's like a, a crunch like an apple and a flavor profile, maybe like a, a pear. Not as sweet as a pear, but it has that and it's more crunchier than a pear. It, it's not as it's not as juicy as a pear as well. But it's it's I like it. Okay, let me tell you about it. And this is pronounced hickama. As weird as that is, this is called hickama. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Um, this tuber has grown in popularity from a cult following for its amazing sweet crisp texture. That is reminiscent of sweet potato crosswood water chestnuts. Yes, it does have a, yeah, 
Yes, yes, yes. I can agree. I can agree with most of it. It also is much less starchier than potatoes. I mean, it is low in carbohydrates. One root per plant with roots that grow up, up to five pounds each. Pruning back seed pods help to divert energy into root production. So, there's 25 of these in each pack, minimum. And I bought two packs. So, that means that I will at least get 50. And if I'm going to, why not get your own seeds? I've seen plenty of videos telling me how there's two different methods that i seen that I pay close attention to. So, I'm very, very anxious about it. Very anxious about it. Now, this pepper right here, I'm going to keep on trying to grow this. I have it in the, it's in the flower stage right now. It's actually has flowers on it. So I'm excited to actually taste one of these and create my own habanada. Yeah. So this one has 10 seeds. A brightly flavored habanero variety without the heat ripens to a sunset orange color. Makes it a wonderful addition to any recipe. Delicious, eaten fresh, roasted, or added to salsa. Wonderful snacking pepper. This is 90 days. And, you know, peppers, when they start, they mostly like heat. Yeah, I can, yeah, they like heat. Let me see, what did I do with those other ones? Here's another pepper. I thought this was so cool. I think this one does have some heat to it. This is a Jamaican yellow mushroom pepper. Yeah, you can cross this up and do some real. Do I got a spot on it? No. Okay. This citrusy, fruity pepper is bright and hails from Jamaica. Some of the people that's from Jamaica, y'all ever seen this before? Y'all ever seen this right here? It has 15 seeds in it. I need to try to grow this. But let me get back to this. This pepper enjoys the sun and warmth. Its interior scent is reminiscent of yellow bell pepper. But do not be fooled. It is packed with spiciness inside. All right, all right, all right. This one right here is a... You know how to say that, baby? Mulatto. It's... Lino. What that say? Brown pepper. <laughs> Brown pretty pepper. Yeah. Y'all know how to say it. Y'all sound it out. I'm okay. <laughs> but to get the full experience, make sure you let this poblano pepper dry on the vine. The depth, the depth flavor of this variety is prune-like and smoky, making it a unique experience. This is a great companion for malt. What? This is a. Oh, this is a great companion. Man, it seems like I'm not saying that right. For mold and child, child chi reno recipes. So, oh, this is for a recipe. I'm like, why do you put mold there? But yeah, <laughs> this matures in 95 days. And as they say, they want you to leave it on the vine to actually ripen. So, yeah. So that's a pretty one. It, 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 ain't, it, ain't, it ain't that hot, but yeah. I thought it was a bell pepper like. So shallots. I was doing some research on shallots. Shallots are, this, let me, let me just tell you about it. It's a long day variety. It's 110 days. Shallots make a are a mix between garlic and onion. They provide a delicious, mild flavor with much more sugar than onions or garlic. Shallots are able to be grown in many soil conditions and many climates. They can be overwintered in the soil to harvest the following year as multi-small shallots, similar to how garlic grows, are grown by seed and harvested first year, much like an onion. Yeah. So I thought it was a pretty cool. Like, yeah, I think I can go ahead and snatch that up. Okay. 
So here we go. This is an herb. This smells like maple syrup. Like, yes, the, the seeds smell like maple syrup. Okay, a delicious green with edible seeds. Fenugreek greens are used in traditional Indian cuisine for their strong curry-like taste. In some countries, fenugreek seeds are used like coffee. Their caramel maple scent and flavor make a delightful addition to teas and bacon. Used in herbalism to support digestion and support lactation for nursing mothers. So this hopefully is gonna have nothing to do with no man, of course, no lactation and all that stuff. But this is a 30 to 45 days. That must be just for the leaves. Um, for the actual seeds, it's probably gonna take longer than that. So this one right here is a beautiful one. This is nutrient dense as far as I know. Y'all need to stop playing, man. Okay, <laughs> this is the Black Nebula Carrot. The Black Nebula is stunning in everywhere. It originated in North Africa. This dramatically colored carrot is such a deep purple, this almost appears black. Black Nebula is an impersonator type carrot that produces long crisp roots that reach six to eight inches in leaf length. Try juicing them for a, ju a gorgeous dark purple juice that turns bright if you add a splash of lemon juice this variety amazingly holds its color when cooked and is rich with with vitamins this matures in 65 days okay so we are just about done with this okay so my next my next one is sorghum now this is beautiful right here. This is 100 to 110 days right here. Sorghum, sorghum. This is the mixed color sorghum bloom corn. Okay? Y'all heard me? Okay. Sorghum has been um, highly regarded as one of the most important grains for its multi-purpose. Message! <laughs> um... It can be used to make syrup, animal feed, flour, gathering together and used for broom making material. And even uses primitive, primitive painting brushes. Sorghum can also be popped like popcorn, which is a unique twist on a popular treat since it is much higher in fiber, protein, minerals, and vitamins than corn. Plants grow like corn until the very end when they reach the tassel stage and they produce large clusters of seeds that, sort, that start out green and as they ripen, they become shades of brown, red, rust, green, yellow, and all golden orange. Wow, this right here, y'all. So there's many reasons why I chose the seeds that I actually chose. Um, like with the mint. The mint is one where I see it sometimes and I'm like, you know, I wanna try to grow that from seed. The red leaf basil is because I had this once upon a time and I just, you know, decided not to. The cucumber is, I, I wanna have a wide selection when it comes to cucumbers. So that's why I got that. The um, um, the tomatoes is because I don't have it and I know there's lots of people that love tomatoes so if I can produce a couple of tomatoes here and there throughout the year then I'll be able to have seeds to actually render to customers um, um, the squash I mean it's a it's a 50 day and it's it's cool you know it's a nice looking cool looking plant you know and I mean it's 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 beautiful the Malabar spinach is because it does get that 82 degrees and everything bolts so it would be nice to actually put them out there early early ish and you know have them on produce their own seeds and every year they come back or you know they might die um, but I, I, I just want to see how they go melons I'm always gonna want to produce melons. Melons, cucumbers, squash, herbs, spices, different grains. 
um, root vegetables, things of that nature. They they make my heart sing. That's a song too. And then the microgreens. My my chickens enjoy the microgreens. Um, at this time, I have the second batch right there going, so I'll be able to I'll be able to to start some more and some more and some more. So I want to have them on a consistent basis um, to where they get to benefit from that. And the ash, ashwagandha, ashwagandha has a lot of um, benefits that um, medically are pretty good. The June, the June berry, the June berry is a. Let me see. Yeah, but <laughs> hey, y'all, it was nice. Thank y'all for supporting me. Thank y'all for checking out my video. Um, but yeah, now I get to put these away. So y'all have a great day. And I will catch y'all on the next time in these YouTube streets. I'm GT. And I need y'all to trust the process. Drop that beat.